What is going on you guys, Brandon here, aka Browadis, and today I'm here with my cousin, Steph. Hey. Stephanie. Um, so today's going to be a little story of an incident that happened today. Well, you're, you guys are going to be seeing this on Tuesday. This incident happened Monday. It kind of happened over the weekend. Actually, it was kind of trending for like a year. Let me just start off. Stephanie's going to add on her comments, but first I'm going to give you guys my side. So... For whatever reasons, whatever purposes, we're not going to mention any names, any phone numbers, or any, like, anything like that. We're just going to go confidential with this, but just know that it involves my cousin and a guy. So, there's this guy who, my cousin and him have been close friends for, like, over two years now. And, like, by close friends, I mean really close. Like, this guy wasn't the most popular or, like, didn't have, like, just, he was just a guy, Okay. Did not have that many friends, that many people on his side. So Stephanie, who is a super nice human being, would always be there for him. Uh, they would call each other best friends. You know, he'd post a picture with each other, and uh, he would go to he would go to her whenever he had problems. Whenever like they would just text all day, hang out at school. So uh, and I guess this guy had like people would pick on him for whatever reason, and um, so. How long would people, like, pick on him for? Like, he would be picked on for a while, right? I don't know. Like, okay, he would have a friend, but then that friend would just, like, use him. Yeah, or, like, so he would have friend. Him. People would use him and, like, be really mean to him and rude to him. So he would go to Steph and she would help him. And he would, like, oh, thank you, like, for helping me with my problems and all that. Okay, one day. One day. So, like I said, this guy, like, yeah, he had friends, but they weren't really true friends. He would... They would use him and he would get picked on and just he wasn't really the most popular guy. My cousin was always there for him, okay? Everyone knew her as really nice best friend. One day, I don't know, like this guy woke up, like his head was pulled out of his ass or something. But uh so he woke up and he decided, which I'm glad he did this, he forgave everybody that made fun of him, he forgave everybody that, you know, picked on him, used him, he forgave those people. He forgave them and he decided to be friends with them, which is good. I like if you're if you're being picked on or something and you have people you don't like, if you for whatever reason feel like you don't want to carry on that hate and you don't like you want to forgive, then do that. But but in the process of forgiving those people and picking them up as his friends, he dropped my cousin Stephanie as a friend. So so it's one thing to forgive those people and you know I'm going to be cool with you guys and also keep your best friend around. But for whatever reason, he felt the need to forgive those people, bring them back in his life and drop the person who was there for him for years. So, um, you know, he stopped talking to her, deleted pictures with her that he had posted, uh, like start what giving like kind of like rolling yeah, his like eyes, dirty like looks, dirty looks, like, like don't some feminine that. shit, like, like some feminine girly shit he would do. So my cousin, like. Rightfully so, she texts him a couple of days ago, you know, she was like, hey, like, I understand we're not really on good terms for whatever reason. Uh, I just want you to know that it's kind of, like, fucked up to do this to the person who was there for you all the time. And, uh, like, and she also threw in, she said, being the nice person that I am, if you ever decide to want to talk, I'll probably be there for you as well. Even though she has, she should not feel obligated to be there for him if he ever gets picked on or bullied because he dropped her as a friend. Uh... After she did nothing wrong. So she texted him that. And he replies with, yeah, I decided to, like, forgive those people and bring them back in my life. Like, and then he, he like, hit me with a, like, you oh, yeah, people change and stuff. Like, you can't stay the same person. Yeah, and so like, I, and, and I told her, I was like, tell him, that's fine. You could change, bring those people back in my life. But that doesn't mean you have to drop me. So she told him, she was like, that's just messed up that I was there for you for all those days, nights, years. That you needed someone to talk to and you're going to drop me as a friend. And you know what? He replied. <laughs> Stop. You know what he replied? Literally, where were we? In we're front in of the my, car. In front of my own eyes. In front of my own eyes. He replies, quote, Bitch, you thought I needed you for those years. First of all, you, first of all, you should have seen the text that he would send her like when he did need her. They were bad. I they were bad. He needed her, first of all. Yeah. Second, this guy is calling females a bitch. You don't ever call any girl a bitch. Ever, 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 ever. You don't ever call... A... Oh, wait, my bitch just texted... I mean, Jackie just... I'm just joking. <laughs> but, uh, wait, Jackie really texted oh, me. Jackie's my best friend, you guys. Um, so, you don't ever call a girl a bitch. No matter the circumstance, 
It's one thing to call a girl a stupid idiot. Once you call a girl a bitch, let alone you're gonna call my own cousin a bitch for no reason, just because she like said what she like, felt. Like tried to fix. Things, yeah, tried to like, fix a friendship oh, after he did her dirty. To him. But hold on, so so he replies. Like, let me just say this. If, if you call a girl a bitch, I automatically dis... I, I lose my respect for you. We're not cool. We're not on good terms. You're gonna call my own family, like, my own blood a bitch? I was, like, you don't understand. I fucking... I got her phone. I called him once. He didn't answer. Twice. Didn't answer. What happened when you thought the voicemail oh, was Oh, I, I thought... When he, he had the voicemail where it's his voice. So I thought he picked up. I said, you motherfucker. Like, I just went off and I said, yeah, please leave a message. Yeah, I got so scared. I was like, no, no. Like, but then I was like. I called him four times. He didn't answer. He had the nerve to hit her with a text. Why are you calling me? I replied. I said, just answer. He wouldn't answer. Five times. Six times. Did not answer the phone. So I texted him, you know, it's a strongly worded message. I just said, listen to me. This is her cousin. Very this is not Stephanie. Worded. I said, you call my cousin a bitch? And I'm gonna show up to your house. I'm, I'm, he's underage. I'm not gonna touch him. I told him I'm gonna talk to him in person. I said, I said, you call me right now, and we could talk over the phone. Or my cousin knows where you live, and I'm gonna talk to you in person. And trust me, you don't want that. I didn't threaten him. I cannot touch him. Like I said, I would not touch somebody who's under 18. He replied with, "Oh, I'm so sorry. Like I let my temper." He was get, so scared. He was so scared. He's like, "I let my temper get the best of me. I, I didn't mean it. Like all that." And I was like, okay, whatever. I didn't reply. He's sorry. Like, Seth, don't talk to him anymore. This was on what, Friday or Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. Okay, so so Monday comes. You know, it's done with. Like, Stephanie, okay, I gotta she, say this she lost a friend. Well, I'll say the morning part. She lost a friend. Okay, that's fine. So this morning, you know, my usual tweet. I tweeted something about basketball. And um, I don't even follow, follow the guy on Twitter. So, like, I didn't get a no notification from him. Stephanie sends me a screenshot of what he tweeted to me. He replied to my basketball tweet saying nobody fucking cares <laughs> and and i looked at seth and i said no way like i texted seth i was like no way he, that's not really him she said yes so he he apologized he shit himself said oh i'm so sorry over text he, oh yeah and then after that text he said please don't talk to me in person just text me whatever you have to say you know he shit himself and then he has the nerve to go to school on Monday in front of his friends. Yeah, and go he was on Twitter. talking with his friends. Yeah. Like, oh, look. Look, I'm going to tweet this. this. I'm going to say this. He doesn't even follow me. So he found my Twitter. I don't know the kid. I don't know how he found my Twitter. It wouldn't be that hard, though. He replied to my tweet saying nobody fucking cares. And I lost it. Because after what Stephanie told me, she said that she saw him after he tweeted that. And how was he? Like, oh, on like his phone. he was just on his phone and he was laughing. And I just looked he at was, him. He like, was like laughing like this. Like, like just being very, very feminine. Very feminine and girly. So I texted him. This is, I'll admit I'm wrong because I'm 20 years old, so I shouldn't be getting my business with someone who's under 18. He's not that far behind, but he's still under 18, so you shouldn't be doing this. But I texted him because imagine, after calling my girl a bitch and getting confronted by me and apologizing, you're gonna go to school in front of your own friends and try to act cool and reply to my tweet and then give my cousin like a little laugh like that. So I texted him, I said, listen to me right now. I don't know who the fuck you think you are. I don't know who you think like, what the hell got up, but you woke up all of a sudden one day, Mr. Popular, you took back all your friends who used to make fun of you, and, uh, wait, Brian. So, yeah, so you woke up, like, you dropped Stephanie as a friend, that's one thing. You call her a bitch, that's another thing. You replied, like, it just all added up. I said, I don't know who you think you are, but I'm not going to touch you personally. Just know that. But Stephanie has a little brother, I don't know if you know, his name is older. Fuckboy. I mean, yeah, yeah, older brother, littler than me, who is under 18, who could touch you. So I told him, I said... You better stop fucking acting up because I cannot touch you, but I know people, as in Anthony, who could touch you. So don't, do, so don't fucking do that. And he replied with, stop harassing me. Like, don't, don't talk to me like that. Just very, like, girly. Like, very fucking, like, in a stupid way. Like, if you can't own up to what you're yeah, saying, like you can don't tell, say Yeah, it. he was what with his doing? friends, like, showing them the text. So, like... So I texted him this. This is where, like, I guess I went wrong. I said, if I were you, I would ask your last period teacher if you could spend the night in the classroom. Because if you leave that classroom, I swear to God, you're going to get your ass kicked. Oh my God. Like, I needed someone to put him in his place. I can't touch him, so I had I was going to have Anthony do it. Anthony's her, her brother, so he could sit yeah, up for her. Yeah, and, like, my, and his friends were just, like, getting him all. He's like, yeah. no, I'm not going to let someone treat your sister like that. So, like, so tell them, like, you're just sitting in class. Oh my and, God. and what what, okay. what happens? I was just sitting in class, and then the people that ride the like, golf carts are, like, really scary. If you the get... The security of the yeah, school? Yeah, if you... Like, if anyone sees you in that, like, they just know you're automatically done for. 
So I'm just sitting in class and like I'm, I look behind me and the guy is there and he's like Stephanie Jabro the school security and I'm just like oh my god and I'm quickly trying to delete text and everything <laughs> I'm just like they're gonna take my phone like yeah. I can't have this like my parents are crazy yeah, so, so you get called to the office and who's there the guy is there of course what do you know just as I'm like he snitches he shows the text messages yeah. between me and him like what are he you says doing he, got, he says he got threatened he did not mention that he called her a bitch like he just like like, he just ran to the office with his dad. He told the school security, he told the principal, Stephanie got called in. And, like, they called her parents. And, like, all this. And, like, so that's the first session. Her dad called me and, you know, I apologize. He said he loves me for sticking up for her, but not to get involved. And I understand where it's coming from. It was a bit immature Oh, and then also, when I was in there, they, they asked me if I wanted to talk to him. And then I was like, okay, yeah, bring him in. And then he comes back in, he's like, oh, he's really mad. He doesn't want to talk to you. Like, why are you mad over something yeah. that you caused? Yeah, so, like, so, like, say, so, they call her in, they call her parents, you know, they pretty much put it on her. And, like, they give, they give her away with a warning. So, she, she goes out. Turns out, he also got the school cops involved. <laughs> Hours later, she gets called in and there's two cops. And so, now I have to call the cops. Like I said... I admit it was a bit immature on my part. I'm 20 years old. I don't need to be getting involved in this. But this is family. And I, I don't know about you guys, but I take family very seriously. I take my close friends very seriously and family. Like, those two things you don't mess with. If this was a random person, I'll probably say, no, don't call her a bitch. But this is family. I had to get involved. So I have to call the cop tomorrow and, like, talk to him. And they had to file reports on her yeah, side of like it and his side of it. it. Listen, guys. And so, when I talked to him, like, because they had to bring him in yeah. so I can talk to him, he was just sitting there. He wasn't even saying anything. Yeah, he, like, wait, Shane. All I'm going to say is, like, you're going to call a girl a bitch. You're the bitch yourself. That's one thing. If you're calling a girl a bitch, then you might have to look in the mirror and you might see the word bitch written on your forehead because that's what you are. And then if you're going to call a girl a bitch and then get threatened, so you run to the... Like I said, I didn't threaten to touch him. Someone his age threatened Anthony. And you're going to run to the school security, the school vice principal, the school principal, and the cops, and call your dad? Like, that's a whole... You're a bitch. You're a bitch. That's it. So, we kept this secret, confidential, no names, no Twitter ads, no phone numbers, no nothing. But that's what happened. Somebody who used to get, like, picked on and had friends that would turn their backs on him. So, he came to this girl right here every single night with his problem. And she was there for him. Saying up, how late would you... Like, what's the latest you say of talking to him? before a long time yeah I she's like lost him. sleep like trying to help him they were best friends like all this and like i said if you're getting bullied and you feel the need you don't want to carry on the hatred in your heart you want to forgive those people do it but there's no reason for you to drop and the people who were there for you when i'm trying to fix stuff yeah everything. like there's no there's no such thing as too many friends like if anything you keep those friends dropped and keep the ones that were there for you but I won't let her be his friend anymore. Like, I don't like, want yeah, to. there's none of that. That's he so went. Stupid. I just want to tell you guys this whole situation because this, to me, was just like I'm, I'm, I'm literally, you know me, guys. I'm literally just like this about <laughs> this whole thing. Like, don't call my family a bitch. All I'm saying, you can call Brian a bitch. I don't care, <laughs> but don't call. I don't know, Steph. You can say something really quick before we end this. No, like video. all I'm saying is like, okay, you call something, and then you're gonna get the cops, your dad, the yeah. principal, everything involved. It's probably gonna go on like. A record thing or whatever that this happened that the school police got involved so like why start something like and you know i just want to say to the person if you're watching this i'm very <laughs> sorry that you know i'm very sorry that i threatened you you know you all you did was call a 14 year old girl a bitch you had no reason i'm just joking i hope one day you sit down on a foot and it shoves up your ass and comes out of your mouth because that's what you deserve you got away with this really easily you got away with this very very easily by snitching and talking to a parent and cops so the only thing we could hope is karma and steph you have more friends including me you know if you ever want to like like eat, go out to eat, go play that sort of shower together. Like we could just do whatever <laughs> you want, but uh, so yeah, guys. Can all the comments be incest, incest. Yeah, incest. no. So guys, I don't know. I hope you. I don't want to say enjoyed this video. I hope like you learn a lesson or something. I don't know. This video is just insight on what's going on in both of our lives right now. This happened throughout the weekend and today, and uh, you, my sir, are still a bitch. If you're watching this, just know you're a bitch. <laughs> and, and always. Uh, and oh, 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 I got one more thing to say. And always, when those friends, same friends you took back, turn their backs on you again, then don't come back to my cousin Stephanie. Find a new best friend to talk to. And uh, I need to go see Jack right now. So, Steph, you need to exit my room. <laughs> Guys, for Watt Squad, peace.
Ooh, my camera's hot. Say bye.